Hey, welcome back to the Daddy Curbs Farm beekeeping episodes. We're going to get back out there. I'm looking forward to getting that nuke into a larger box. Of course, if it's not ready, we won't do it, but I'm pretty sure it's ready. Hopefully later this year we can get that colony put into a horizontal hive just like one of these. We're going to use one of these boxes that I have already sitting out here. We're going to prepare probably this one right here. It has the bottom board and a deep box. We're just going to get it all set up, swap over the frames, and then slide that over in its place. I do have the screen bottom board, but I don't really want to put these bees straight out of here onto a full screen. So I'll be using the insert. That gives me the option here, if I want to add a little ventilation, I can just pull that screen out. But I think full ventilation at this point would be detrimental to a developing colony. Are they doing well enough to put into a new box? I thought they were, but let's take a look before we make that decision. All right, here is a whole frame that has pollen. Look at that beautiful pollen and nectar. They have nectar uh, that they're bringing in. That's the, the juice. And the pollen is the solid stuff that they're collecting. So a nice frame of resources. And a frame right next door here. It has a lot of empty comb. Remember last time, see they have a lot, a lot of room to expand there. Last time we had some queen cells. Let's see if we have any evidence of a queen that has emerged and started laying. Okay, this is one of those mediums. This is what we're trying to get away from, but they have a lot of resources in here. So far, no evidence of brood. They do have brood. They have a lot of larva and eggs. Well, these eggs are easy to see in here. That's nice. So they do have most likely a queen in here but I don't think their numbers are, are big enough yet this is one of those times when I, I really felt like I was gonna come out here and do something specific like put these guys in a new box and I just I don't think that the numbers are high enough enough bees they do have resources I see some drones I'm looking in here for more eggs. I do see eggs on this one too. So they have a, a queen that's actively laying. I'm not going to move these girls over into a bigger box. They're not ready. We'll put this box back together and then we'll go on and inspect other hives in the bee yard. Oh, there's our queen right there. I see her. Right. Right there. Okay, that's good to see. All right, but um, her colony, not ready for a bigger box. Well, that was interesting. I really thought that that was ready, but we're not. So we're gonna move on to inspecting the vertical hives and then we'll go on and just take a peek into the horizontal hives at the end. Look what I caught. 
That right there is turtle food. You guys know I have the box turtles and they love snacks like this. So we're gonna see if I can keep him until I'm done. Nope, he's gone. Is it time, is it possibly time that that horizontal hive one, H1, gets another box? My goal really ultimately is to stack these boxes at least two deep, possibly three deep. And right now this being two, I'm gonna look and see if they're ready for three. Over time I collect wax and then sometimes I leave bits of it sitting on top of the hive and it melts in the sun. I'm going to take that wax and put it over in my hive butler box so I can take it back to the house and clean it up. Good. It's the Golden Sun Beekeeper. You going to come in and check it out without a suit? Hopefully I get on video if you get stung and run away. I'm gonna stand right here. Okay. You guys remember the old days of Golden Sun Beekeeper videos? Back when I had the golden hair. Back when he had hair and golden hair. Uh, he's gonna observe for just a minute. They look like they're building up pretty nice. They have plenty of bees on top. I am hoping that they're ready for another box. Oh, yeah, they're building they're bu building a lot of wax connection there, some uh, comb. So we're going to clean that off. Scraping that wax off the top of that inner cover is good because we don't we don't want to encourage them to continue building off the top. Again, we'll put this in our high butler box and take it back to the house and clean it up. We got a little bit of wax on the top. We'll clean that off. All right, see ya. see ya. This one's not empty. That wasn't good. They do have a little bit of wonky comb here. I'm gonna scrape that bit out. I need my Golden Sun Beekeeper to come back. I would always welcome you into the uh, bee yard if you wanna help. A little more wax to take back to the house. Pretty soon we're going to have a video where I'm rendering wax and uh, waxing frames. They do have brood up here. And this is a nice frame of brood. They have capped brood and open brood. And on this side they have a lot of nectar. On that other frame that I dropped, uh, they actually have honey. Lots and lots of brood on this frame. Check out that. Lots of brood. Okay, that's looking good. But the question was, are they ready for a third box? They had two empty frames on the end. They have another empty frame that they're starting to build comb on right here. And another, probably more than half empty frame next to it. There's a lot of empty space on these over here. This hive is doing fine with just the two boxes and not ready for a third. So we're going to move on. We're not going to spend a lot of time in these hives today. I just, I want to check and make sure that they have the room they need, uh, the resources they need, and then we'll move on. Okay, we'll switch over and put our attention on this. Uh, I call the other one an H1. That's a V1. And this whole naming things, I just need to give up on the names. Do the names really matter? Not really. If I had a hundred and I was taking notes, you know, I had a ledger of all the different hives, then it would be important. For me, it's more of just fun naming the hives and forgetting the names than anything else. Okay, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot of honey. 
There's a lot of honeycomb built up in here, so I suspect that they're getting full. They may need another box. You can see that they're, they have some built up here. We're going to take that off. We are just taking a peek to make sure our queen's not up here and I don't see her. We're going to make a little bit of a mess when we take this lid off the inner cover because there is that connection, the honeycomb. Lots of honeycomb. That needs scraped off and cleaned up. I'm going to shake these bees. Let me check for the queen real quick. I don't see her. We're going to shake these bees down and get the bees off the lid. And then we're going to scrape. This hive is jam-packed full of bees. They are definitely ready for another box. We're going to uh, do a little bit of inspection, try to clean some of these up. I would actually like to insert some empty frames in the middle of the bottom to give them room right by the entrance to make them feel like they have a little more room as they come and go. Lots of honey. They're making honey right there. Mm -hmm. Moving that one frame outside gives us room to work inside. A little less struggle. I'm going to put a little bit of smoke on these bees. Oh, I just saw my queen. I just saw her go right there. I don't know if she's on this frame or the next one. She's not on this one. We're going to slide this one over. She's probably on this one here. Very heavy frame. Lots of brood. Lots of nectar. Some honey. Trying to keep this low and close to the hive so that I don't unintentionally drop a queen out onto the ground. I'm going to get another box to prepare because what we're going to do is open up probably three frames in the middle and uh, we'll put those directly in the middle of the top box and then we'll put three empty frames here and then empty frames up on top. We have a lot of brood in the middle of this one. Another full frame of brood. They also have some pollen and nectar mixed in here, but a lot of brood there. Lots of resources. This one, I think I'm going to put this one up in the middle at the top. This hive is, is very full, but it's being very, very well behaved. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put those two what I have right now are two frames with brood 
one frame with honey in this box over here and we're gonna leave this center space here we're gonna put some empty frames uh, we'll stagger them actually but I'm gonna go ahead and take a peek oh man this hive this hive is really set to explode. They have so much brood, and they didn't have nearly enough room. I think we're catching this one just in time. So far, I haven't seen any attempts at making queen cells, so it doesn't look like they were preparing to swarm, but if I didn't take care of this now, they probably could. Not probably, they, they absolutely could. frame this is one that I scraped off it has some wax already on it and we'll scoot this one over same with this one it wasn't completely covered with wax but it did have some wax built up on it scoot that over put another one in here I like to push them close together and leave whatever extra space there is just a little bit on the outsides not in the middle so now we have lots of brood with three empty frames down in the middle giving them plenty of room to work and then we're gonna build that second box on top putting the two brood frames and the honey frame right in the middle. I didn't have quite as many frames in there as I thought I did so I know that I have extra frames or pretty certain that I have extra frames inside this horizontal hive so we'll get there just look in the empty end to see if we have enough frames to put over there Let's go ahead and inspect this horizontal hive. I was able to take some frames out of here because everything to the left of this skinny board is just storage. The hive only exists down here. We may be expanding it today, but uh, it was nice to have those there, safe, dry, clean, and ready to go. I still have not improved my divider board. It's effectively not a divider board until the bees can't climb over the top. So how full are they? It looks pretty full right now. 
they look very full. I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to put some of these frames over here. I know I'm exposing more, but I kind of want to do that this time because I want to see the hive more in its entirety. The bees are reacting just fine. I will put just a little extra smoke over the top. Not down in the hive, but just blowing over the top. This hive is very full, very established, and it looks like they're making honey. I'm gonna move this divider board down. My divider list, my non-divider board. Lots of nectar. They're making honey on this frame. Some pollen, a little bit of pollen. Building out new comb on this side. My entrance is right here. Most of my brood should be on these frames right here in front of the entrance. And we're just we're just gonna start pulling these out one at a time, seeing what they have. This is what I expected on the end of the hive. Lots of pollen and uh, nectar. Again, pollen and nectar. It's looking very good. They have some drones in there. Some male bees, the big bulky male bees. These bees have a lot of dark, not quite as much orange or yellow. They're still not really dark like some of the southern bees, but there, there's a good frame of brood right there, right at the beginning of my entrance. We're going to want to keep that one close to the entrance. Lots and lots of brood. Check that out. They're making drone brood on the bottom. This is one of those medium frames that they're building out on the bottom. And they're making larger cells for drones, which is totally okay. Again, same thing. Lots of brood. This is a medium frame, the seven inch frame that they drew out on the bottom, using that for more drone brood. So that's three frames right there with, with brood. They have some larva and eggs in this one. And more, more brood on the back side. Haven't seen the queen yet, but I do see eggs. They're drawing these, uh, these medium frames out just fine on the bottom. And that's more brood right there. They have lots of brood. This hive, oh, they have some queen cups. Are those new? They're empty. Two queen cups on the bottom there. They actually have quite a bit of brood. This hive is going to, to have a lot more bees uh, in the coming days and weeks. And the very last one against the wall is mostly pollen and honey. Some capped honey on this side. So they are they're building a lot of resources. I'm going to let that one stay on the end wall. Uh, starting here, we're going to stagger them just so that they have a few more to start building the brood on. And we're going to push a couple of these toward the end. I'm going to put them here and here.
Actually, I have I have two left here. I'm going to go ahead and put I'm going to go ahead and put another one in here. Scoot everything down. I'm going to put this this wooden framed one here at the very end. I really like these J-hook uh, hive tools. I call it a J-hook because it's got the little hook on the end. And uh, Honeystead, Kaylee over at the Honeystead has quite a few of these. I think she sells them and they're different colors and different styles. Check out the channel. Maybe you want to get a new hive tool. So that frame, this, this horizontal hive now is four frames more, which is going to give them lots of room to build up uh, brood and reserves to expand and not feel like they need to swarm out. We're always saving that skinny board for the end so that just by opening the, the top, the lid, we will know exactly where the end of that hive is. I'm going to collect all my wax and go add it to my collection. Check out all these bees. Last inspection, we're just going to take a peek to make sure that they have enough room on the end. I'm not digging into the entire hive this time. Just looking at the end to see if maybe we need to add a few more frames. Which may be problematic since I didn't bring any more out. Got some interesting little things going on up here in the top of this hive. Maybe you guys can tell me what it is. I noticed leaves here, so whatever whatever the critter is, they're making a cocoon out of leaves. Okay, getting into this horizontal hive, we have the end of it right down here. We're going to just take these last three boards off, check out the progress of resources, and see if we need to bring any more uh, frames out here. You guys remember that towel we put in for beetles? Check that out. We have four beetles right there. Uh, probably another 15 more. A couple of them stuck right there. That's why we put it in there. Everything I need to know basically is right there on that frame. They do not have any drawn comb, just a little tiny bit of drawn comb in the middle. And they have plenty of, they have some, some honey going in over here. Let's take two more frames out just to see. Lots of honey. They're packing honey in that one. And they're building onto this comb. They have plenty of room. They don't need more frames. So I'm not going to get in here. I can already smell that sweet, sweet banana defense pheromone. So we're going to get out of here before they get too, too concerned about me. We'll put our beetle trap towel back on top. It's always a pleasure getting out into the bee yard. It's also always a pleasure hanging out with you guys here in the comments. If you have any suggestions or tips or just beekeeping stories, paste them down below in the comments. I love to learn from you as a community. We'll get out here in a week or so to see if that nuke is ready to move over into that large box. And also to see how well the expansion of that one horizontal hive, to see how well they're taking to all those extra frames. Everyone has a story and every story counts. I firmly, truly believe it. I believe your story counts because you count. Thanks for being a part of my story and letting me be a part of yours. I'll talk to you soon.